Okay, Shalom. Shalom. We're going to start off by giving all praise, honors, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, the men that taught us the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit. And Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash, Brakatham, to the elect of Israel that scattered across the four corners of the globe. So I'm here with the, uh, the elder brother, Yahweh, of the of the, uh, you know, GMS uh, camp of Israel. My name is Yashalam. And we're back with you, you know, another Saturday through the Holy Spirit for the Rakar Kodash, bringing out these scriptures, man. Now, right now, you've got uh, gainsayers out there that's coming up against this truth. That's basically trying to uh, come up against the word of Yahweh Bashmah Shai, coming in form of uh, the likes of Volcab Malone and his gang, okay, G Consciousness. Who else is there now? Um, Cherry Love. Yeah, Cherry man. Love and the gang. But mainly, well, our main focus is on this individual Volcab Malone right now because he's basically trying to denounce what we're bringing out, which is prophecies and we're basically letting the world know that we are those prophets of old coming back in the reincarnation and right now you've got Volcan Malone saying that you know that's 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 a, that's a falsehood so to speak so we're just gonna get into some prophecies regarding um reincarnation in the bible and put that 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 individual to sleep man okay. so let's you know this is um first corinthians chapter 1 verse 12 slack it 2 verse 12 yeah now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which the most high, which is like it. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yahweh, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh. Yeah, and this is really going into the elect of the nation of Israel that received the spirit of Yahweh Bashmah Shai. The spirits actually understand these scriptures, the knowledge of the of, of the book, of the Bible, and bring it out. Okay, it's going into the elect of the nation of Israel here. Go, on, go ahead. It says, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth. Yeah, which the Holy Spirit teacheth. And that's that's the whole thing. We can't do this work without the Holy Spirit, man. Okay, because this Bible is a, is a coded book and it needs to be decoded through the Holy Spirit, through the Rakar Kodash. If you can get uh, John chapter 3 and verse 27. Because what, yeah, yeah, John chapter 3, verse 27. Yeah. Because what we're doing right now is highly spiritual, man, right? right. We're just average so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in the world, but here it is today. Now we're bringing out the, the truth of the Bible, and that's all heavenly, man. So you got it? This is John chapter 3, verse 7, 27. Yeah, John see. answered and said, A man can can receive nothing except it be given him. From the from from heaven. Yeah, a man can receive nothing except it be given to him from heaven, man. So it's the heavenly Father Yahweh through our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai through the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of these scriptures and, and that helps us break down these scriptures and go from one scripture to the next scripture to make sense of the Holy Bible, man. For the elect of the nation of Israel. So if we can go back to uh, First Corinthians. All right, this is back back and from this is First Corinthians chapter two verse um. 13. Yeah. It says, but the, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start at 13. Right. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit, Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Yeah, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. So, as an example, the topic right now that we're on is the topic of reincarnation. That's a highly spiritual thing. I mean, when you get the gist of reincarnation, which the word reincarnation simply means back in the flesh, it's not that deep. But nevertheless, for the average, you know, nigger out there, for the average peon out there, it's actually deep. It's a spiritual thing. So if you can read that again. It says, um, back in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 13, yep. which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, which is these churches out here, man. Man's wisdom is these churches, man. Yep. Pushing they fluff and puff with that five hundred one c three charter that Esau allowed them to um to push man, which is tax exempt, and they push fluff and puff according to what Esau want them to teach. They can they're not allowed to teach the truth, man. So it says, it says, back in First Corinthians chapter two verse thirteen, which things also we speak not in the words which man wisdom teacheth, but which is the which which the Holy Spirit teacheth comparing spiritual things with spiritual? Yeah, comparing spiritual things with, with spiritual. So, as an example, like I said, reincarnation—that's a spiritual thing. 
And it's not no coincidence that America, which is the last kingdom written about in the Bible that's going to fall down, it's not no coincidence that you're going to have the prophets raised back up in these last days to come out right. here and prophesy against Babylon the Great, against this spiritual Nineveh, against spiritual Egypt, man. Okay? Every time a kingdom goes down, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the world even call God, and our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the world even called Jesus Christ, they always send forth their prophets first and then they bring, bring down the kingdom, man. Sweet. I told you more about that in Jeremiah 28 and 8. Okay, about how the, the prophets before me of old prophesied a, 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 against great kingdoms, you know, uh, kingdoms of, of wickedness and of evil. So we're doing that all over again. And the, and the prophets, they're back here in the reincarnation, you know. I got a little more. Yep. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, Yahweh. The natural man is the two-thirds, man. Yep. Also the other nations that cannot get this word, man. It was not meant for the two-thirds to get this word, man. Neither was it meant for the other nations to receive the word of the most high, man. It was only meant for the elect on this side, man. Yep. Hey, let's get um, Psalms 147 and verse 19 since you said that, man. Right, 147 verse 19? Yeah. Okay, come. You know, because that, the, the elder brother said, the word of Yahweh Bashmah Shai is only first and foremost for the nation of Israel. And then when you go deeper, it's really only meant for the elect to understand in these right. last days, pursuant to Romans 11 and 7. Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for, but the elect have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So what are the rest blinded from? This truth, right. from the highly spiritual things that's, in that, that's contained in this Holy Bible, such as reincarnation. All right, this is Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. Yep. He showeth his words unto Jacob. Yeah, this is the heavenly father. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Who's Jacob? Us so Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Jacob's our forefather, whose name was changed to Israel, all right? And we're the descendants of Israel, from the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? Right. From Judah all the way down to Issachar. Us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So the heavenly father, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly referred to as God, he showed his word, meaning the, the Bible, the understanding, unto Jacob and his descendants. It says, back in Psalm chapter 147, verse 19, he showed his word unto Jacob, yep. his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. Verse 20, he have not dwelt, he have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. And one of the Lord's judgments is to reincarnate his prophets to come out here and teach. And these nations, they don't know these things, man. All these heathens, such as Volcan Malone, we you know begin with Apostle Tahar on down. We believe you to be an Edomite, man. Right? And you're you're not an Israelite, that's why you don't you can't understand these scriptures pursuant to what? Daniel 12 and 10. None of the wicked shall understand. And who's the wicked of the Bible? Esau, Edom, and the rest of these heathen nations. They can't. Also, yeah, go also, ahead. Like, also, two thirds of our people, man. Yep. Because they're wicked too. Because the, the deeds, that are, the deeds of, of, of you Negroes, especially the Americans, surpass the deeds of the wicked, man. Yep. Which are Esau and the other nations. And of, also the other nations, but mainly Esau, man. Because Esau is the wicked, man. That's right. You know? So it says back in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Yep. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of, the, of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Yeah, so when we say that we're the prophets back in the reincarnation, the masses of people look at us as being fools, man. And that's scriptural in itself. That's prophecy in itself. Because it says in, what's that, 1 Corinthians 4 verse 9 on down about how we're going to be fools for Yahweh Shai's sake, man. Okay, really so we don't expect these average peons out there to take us serious when we say that we are those men, Lord willing, that you read about in the Holy Bible. Okay, those great men such as uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, so on and so forth, man. We don't expect these peons out there to, to, to accept that, to receive that knowledge, man. You know? But let me say this real quick. Yeah, good. go ahead. Yeah, hey, man, before the most, like the priest said, man, before the most high Yahweh destroys a nation, he sends his prophets, man, to warn his people within that nation of the set destruction. That's like, hey, and past preventer, the, the heathen nation, will repent of their ways, just like Nineveh did, man. Yep. Jonah, yep. During the time of Jonah, Nineveh, Nineveh were, which was the um, capital of, one of the capital states of the Assyrian Empire, they they repented of the wickedness and the evil that they was doing, man. And the Most High pulled back his destruction for a certain period of time, man, because he knew that they was gonna go off again. Right. But for that particular time, being that the Most High Yahweh was merciful, he pulled back the sword, man. He didn't destroy them. Because they were repentant of their wicked evil ways, man. And 
the very same thing is happening now, man. The, we out there <coughs> prophesizing the downfall of America and the kingdoms that's align themselves with America. But guess what? They don't want to hear none of it, man. So what's going to happen, man? So a sword distortion is going to come upon America, man. That's right. You know? That's right. But we out there warning y'all the same thing that the prophets did in the ancient world, we doing now. So we have to be them prophets coming back in a, in a reincarnation, same spirit, different body, man. You see, the spirit is a, it's like a flame of fire, but the body, which is created by sex, houses the spirit. So same spirit, different body. The spirit that was back in the ancient world is back now, but in a different body, house in a different body, but yet he gonna do the same thing he was doing in the ancient world, because that's the spirit that he had on him to do so. He had to, the spirit of the prophets is something unto the prophets, man. Yep. So we gonna do the things that we was doing in the ancient world, if we be the men of the Lord, man. Yep. I've been right me and this brother here are part of the elect, and we are part of, and we men of the Lord, man. So quick, so quick. It's Ecclesiastes 3 verse 15 It says That which have been is now And that which is to be Have already been Hey, That which has been is now man The prophets of old Are back now prophesizing Against the Roman Empire Like they did In the ancient world man yep. Yep. This is number another leg Of the Roman Empire man The revising of the Roman Empire Man do through NATO and the EU, man. Yeah. I mean, know that according to the scriptures, man. Huh. When you go to the book of Daniel, the second chapter, you, you read about how Nebuchadnezzar had that dream of the statue and he saw the, the actual vision of the four um, empires, if you will, from the Babylon, the ancient Babylonian Empire to the uh, Persians and, and the Medes, to the Greek Empire, which was these uh, Edomites in the days of old, to the Roman Empire, which is the, we're living in the second leg of the Roman Empire, man. Okay, but back then, you know, 2,000 years ago when the Howard Shaw was on the scene, that was the, the, the first leg of the, the pagan Roman Empire, you know. You had uh, Titus and, the, and, the, and Vespasian. Then now we're living in the second leg of the Roman Empire. And those same Caesars that were back there, they're back here in the reincarnation, man. That's you right. Know? That's Fulfilling right. their lot as being the wicked. And the prophets are back, you know. Okay. Everything this comes back, you know. In the reincarnation. In the reincarnation. This is more proof, man. This is, this is more proof of reincarnation that exists and it's in the Bible, it's in the scriptures, man. And we are back, every man from the ancient world 2,000 years ago that was back during the time of Yahweh Shah, during the time of the Roman Empire, they back today, man, to receive their judgment, man. Yep. And it says... Let me uh, finish this out real quick. Bring it up real quick. This is Ecclesiastes 3 verse 16, let me just close this out. It says, and that which is to be have already been, and the Most High requireth that which is past. Hey, bring it up. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there. And right, right now we're living in the time of the wicked. Okay, pursuant to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who's the wicked according to the Bible? Well, when you read uh, Malachi, the first chapter, around the fourth verse, it tells you who the wicked is. The wicked is Esau, Edom. Okay, so we're living in their, their reign. We're living in their world right now and their world is coming to an end. And it's come to an end spiritually right now, by the way, of Yahweh Bashem Shai sending forth his prophets to actually spiritually bring him down. And then when he sends his son Yahweh Shai, he's going to bring him down physically, man. Okay, by the way, these uh, ICBMs, and when Yahweh Shai returns with the holy angels in the chariots, what people even call UFOs, then he's going to put, put him down physically, man. Okay. And that's how this whole thing's going to go down. And that's what we're prophesying in these last days, man. I got a precept to go with that. This is Job chapter um 14 verse 14 yep if a man die shall he live again all the days of my appointed time will i wait till my chains come man and what ch and, and, and what's that change man that new body man if a man die shall he live again of course man because the spirit don't die the spirit go back to the man to he who made it which you have a white you have a shot and your body goes to the dust man so in the process of time, your spirit is back in a new body, and here, hence you living again, man. Like it says here, if a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time, will I wait till my chains come? What's that change? That new body, man. So that's, that's further proof that reincarnation exists, man. For you wacky ass Christians out there that, that have no clue about reincarnation, man. It says, and then if I may, 
when you link this up, this scripture here, when you link it up with uh, Hebrews, the 9th chapter, around the 27th verse, it answers Job's question, shall I live again? It says in Hebrews 9 and 27, uh, as it is appointed unto men once to die, and then after this, the judgment, man. And we just read in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, where judgment takes place underneath, underneath the sun, which is here on earth. Okay, so the answers in the scriptures, man, regarding if Job was going to live again. And Job is back here in the reincarnation, man. So it's Hebrews, right? Uh, Hebrews 9 and 27. Okay, let me get it right now. Huh. This is Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. It says, and as it, and, as it, and as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the ju after this, the judgment. Yeah, and that judgment uh, comes forth by way of the heavenly Father, Yahweh, sending your spirit back into the world, man. And then you pay for the things that you've done in your past lives, okay, in, in, in the reincarnation. That's why it says in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, around the 16th verse, about how the, the Lord requires the things of the past, man. Because when you go, when you die, you go to the spirit world, you immediately go into the judgment seat of Yahweh, 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 Shah, right. and you receive your judgment, and then you, you dwell in the spirit world for a certain amount of time, and then when your time to come back into the earth, you come back, do sex, and um, when you come back, where your judgment be to have, um, where your judgment is to have um, autism, right? Where you be bugged out, drooling, and don't know right. where you at, man. Brain damage. Brain damage. Where your judgment to have, you know, to be a quadriplegic in a in a wheelchair like this, or your judgment to come back as a new built, newborn baby and die after three months after you've been born. Yeah. Or where you reach up to the age of 19 and get gunned down in the streets. Whatever your judgment is, once you once you die. And you go to the spirit world, you receive your judgment, and you come back down to live out the judgment, man. Yep. They tell you that in the book of I'm saying in Ecclesiastes, man. The place of judgment. Yeah. Under the sun. Yep. And that's why the disciples were inquiring unto Yahweh Shai. I believe that's John the ninth chapter regarding the, the, the blind man. Get that, you know? Yeah, if we get that in, I think it's John chapter 9. John chapter you know? 9, yeah, yeah. Yeah, John. the disciples, they were inquiring, they were asking the Lord as to why this man was blind because they actually had an, an understanding of reincarnation and the judgments of Yahweh Bar Shemal Shai. I think it's 9, we can start from verse 1. Okay, because, because that man that was born blind was born blind not because he did anything wicked in his previous life right, but right. as the testimony so to show the Most High Yahweh Shai's power, man. Right. The yeah. power of healing, man. Yep. He was born to be healed by Yahweh Shai, man. Yep. That was, that was his purpose, his number one purpose to be born in this earth, man. Yeah. We're going to get that account. Yeah. And then it says, that's beautiful, the elder brother said that. It says in um, Hosea 6, the verse 1 on down, about how the heavenly father wounds and he heals. That's right. Uh, Deuteronomy 32, verse 39, about how the Lord kills and he makes alive, roughly paraphrasing, that's man. That's right, you're right, bro. So Yahweh Barshmah Shai is in control of all of that. And that's why he sent forth that, that man to be blind. This is showed forth his power, his glory, his mercy, you know? That's right. I think it's John the ninth chapter, right? Yeah, I got it. I okay. got it. Um, it's um, John chapter nine, verse one. Yeah. And Yahweh shot passed by. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. That means he was blind from birth, man. Yeah. He didn't do anything in his previous life to be born blind, but it was a. It, it, he, he was born blind for the very for the very purpose to be healed by Yahweh Shah to show forth the Most High's power. Yahweh Shah's power, man. The gather the elect, man. You know? So it says, um. And the reason they had an understanding of this is because when you go back to our laws, uh, specifically Exodus the 20th chapter, you read about how the Lord will punish certain fathers in the, the third and fourth generation, man. And, and, and Jake back there understood reincarnation, man. That's why they said this right here. This is John chapter um, 9, verse 2. Right. And his disciples asked him, Yahweh Shah, saying, Master, what did what did sin this man or his parents that he was born, um, born blind? I'm gonna read it again. John, um, John chapter 2, verse 2. And his disciples asked him, which is Yahweh Shah, saying, Master, who did sin this man or his parents born blind? Because guess what? They they understood reincarnation. They understood that that um you that you 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 we will pay for your sins in your previous in your next life, man. 
That's like John McCain. He lived 80 years, man. Yeah. 80, 81 years, man. Committing wickedness, shedding blood. But guess what? He died. He went before the judgment seat of Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shah. And he received this judgment. When he come back, he's going to be a perpetual slave. He know that now. But now he's resting in the spirit world. He's resting. And he's, and he's dread coming back, man, in the reincarnation. But he know his sentence. Right. His sentence has been given to him. Because once he passed on, that decrepit, wicked cracker, once he passed on, he went in front of the judgment seat of Yahweh. And he received this judgment. And this judgment was become a petrol slave under the hands of the Israelites, man. And he know that now, man. He know that. That when he come back in his new body, he's going to be a slave. You understand know what I'm saying? So that's another form of reincarnation. That dude, Senator John McCain, knows all the wickedness he did in the society, living voluptuously, being rich, having all the money in the world, having no worries in the world, having the power to do to commit um, 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 death, the, the make somebody live, have somebody live. That all that all that power's been snatched from him now, and when he come back, he's gonna be a slave. That's reincarnation, man. Yeah. And you know the the big question right now, you know, amongst you know these these Edomites again in particular, Volker Malone is. You know, is uh, your apostle Ha saying that he's um, Apostle Paul? So what, man? It's not actually far fetched if you can receive it. You know, it's not no big deal for the Lord to send forth His prophets, man. Pursuant to First uh, Corinthians 14 and 32, the, the 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 spirit of the prophet is subject unto the prophets, man. All right. So all the prophets are back, whether it be Apostle Paul, whether it be uh, Isaiah, whether it be Jeremiah, Ezekiel, so on and so forth. All the prophets are back here in, in their lot. What is it? Well, let's get um, Daniel 12. Well, let us finish it real quick. Right. Have, right. It says, and his disciples, this is back in John chapter 2, verse chapter 2, verse 2. And his disciples asked him, saying, which was Yahweh Shah, Master, what did this man, what did, what what sin this man or his parents slack it? It says, what did what who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind, verse 3. Yahweh Shah answered, Neither have this man seen nor his parents, but that the works of the Most High Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah should be made manifest unto him, in him. And how is his works being mani made manifest in him? Him, him um, being healed, man. You know, we're going to close it out real quick. We, so we're going to get another scripture or two. <coughs> then we're gonna close it out. Yeah, let's close out with Daniel, the 12th chapter. I, I think it's like towards the end of the, the chapter. Dang, where I know it's about. You know, he, Daniel standing he gonna in stand his on lot. This lot. Okay, I got you right here. I got you right now, bro. Because all the prophets right now, like I said, whether it be the, the, the prophets that you read about in the Old Testament or the prophets in the New Testament, they're back here standing in their lot, man. You know, and it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all, man. Doing marvelous works. I got apostle Daha right has been doing this since like the, the 1985. The other apostle since the 1990s, man. That's that's not a light thing. That's a marvelous work. I got it right here. All right, let's go. This is Daniel chapter 12, verse 9. And he said, this is um, this this is this, this is Uriel. Right. He says, and he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Yeah, the, the words of this Bible, the understanding of this Bible was closed up until the time of the end, the time of the end of Smyrna Esau's uh, wicked rulership. It's now. Bro. Which is now, you know? Which it's, is now, like, the, 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 the book is unsealed. Because why? Yahweh Shai went on the cross and he actually unlocked this, the code of this Bible, if you will. It tells you more about that in Revelation 5 and 5. And you know? also, the most I started bringing out his prophecies with Abba, through Abba Bivens yeah. in the 60s, man. Yeah. And now, hence, we carrying on our legacy, man, bringing out these prophecies, man. Those who was meant to be getting to get these prophets, to break us of these prophecies, man, to bring it out, man. Hence, we are here on the Hobbits and the Bible is bringing it out, man. And Fulfill, it says, fulfilling Malachi uh, 4, verse 5, because it will be impossible for, for us to do what we're doing except uh, Elijah come back through the Spirit, man. That's right. And turn the minds of the fathers back to the children and the minds of the children back to their fathers. That's right. It says, Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly 
and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Man. Yeah, so the only, the only wise is speaking by the, the elect of the nation of Israel, the one to begin with the 144,000, they're going to understand this Bible. They're going to understand things such as reincarnation, but the wicked, such as uh, uh, Volker Malone, all these Edomites, all these heathen nations, two thirds of our own people, they're not going to understand this Bible because it hasn't been given unto them. I'm going to jump down yep. to verse 13. But go thou thy way till the end be. For there, for, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days, man. Thy, thou shalt rest, meaning what? Daniel's gonna go to sleep, meaning what? He's gonna, he was gonna die. Go back to the spirit go world. Go back to the spirit world. Come back in the, re the regeneration. Come back in the reincarnation and stand in his lot. And what's his lot? To be a prophet. That's right, To man. say things before they take place. That's Daniel's lot. And he's doing that right now. We don't know who he is. We're not professing to know who anybody is. Okay, but we do understand that the prophets are back here in the reincarnation. In the, through the spirit. So what we do is, the spirit of the prophet is sent up to the prophet. So we are here doing what we got to do, man. Right. You know, so reincarnation is in the scriptures, man. We had a whole lot of scriptures that yeah. we didn't get into. Right. Going into reincarnation, man. You know? So with that... We're going to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Makakwadash, and double honors once again to the apostles and elders that taught us this thing of ours, man. Shout out to you, I came out there to push this world of truth and sincerity. Hey, stay strong, man. We almost out this bitch, man. Shalom. Shalom.